If you clicked on this video here, you're more than likely a veteran going through the home buying journey and you just wanna know all the things you need to avoid. Or you're a real estate professional who works with veterans and you just wanna know all the things that you need to prepare them to avoid. Regardless of who you are or what brought you here, I'm excited to have you and I'm excited to teach you about my top five common mistakes that I see veterans making when going through the home buying process with the VA Home Loan Benefit. Before I jump in, I have a free resource for you. I created an ebook that teaches veterans and real estate professionals everything that they need to know about the VA Home Loan Benefit. If you click the link in the description below, you're gonna have access to not only a home buying checklist, an eligibility understanding, knowing what your funding fee is, how to build wealth using the VA loan, and how to build a real estate portfolio. There's so many other things that I could talk about right now that's in that ebook, but I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. So click the link down below, download it. It's completely free, there's no catch and it's going to give you all the value and tools you need around the VA Home Loan Benefit. All right, let's jump into it. My number one mistake that I see veterans making when going through the home loan process with their VA Home Loan is not working with a VA Loan Specialist. It sounds cliche and it sounds really like simple, but you'd be surprised. You see, there are many great mortgage lenders out there, but what they don't do is all specialize in the VA Home Loan Benefit. And that's okay. You see, I don't specialize in every loan as well. My focus is on helping veterans navigate the home buying journey. So if you're going to use the VA home loan, you want to make sure that you're working with somebody who specializes in helping veterans do exactly that. So make sure you work with a VA loan specialist if you want to avoid some of the potential pitfalls, speed bumps, and hurdles that could come with not working with one. The second mistake that I see veterans making is kind of more of like a 1B, but it's not getting their certificate of eligibility. You see, your certificate of eligibility is what determines your ability to utilize the VA home loan. If you're not eligible for getting a VA home loan, you won't have a certificate. But if you are, you need to make sure that you get that up front. And working with a VA loan specialist is going to help make sure that you do exactly that. Some veterans I have seen go through the process of getting pre-approved and then going and looking for a house and then finding out they can't close on their home because they didn't get that certificate of eligibility. This will cause a huge delay and it doesn't happen fast if there is a potential roadblock in order to pull your certificate. So you wanna make sure you do it up front. You can do it in one of three ways. You can do it online on the VA website. You fill out a form, submit the supporting documents that they're gonna ask from you and you can boom, send it off there. Another way you can do it is you can fill out that form by hand and mail it off to them. This is by far the slowest way to do it. The fastest way I would say to do it is really just working with a VA loan specialist. They can pull it for you. And this is also why I say you could use this as a tool to find out if you're working with a VA loan specialist. You see, not all lenders have access or know how to pull certificate eligibilities. So if you're working with a VA lender or you are working with a lender, a great question to ask them up front is, can you pull my certificate? If they can't pull it for you or they ask you to get it for them, that's a red flag. Run for the hills. Go find somebody else and find someone that knows how to get that certificate for you. That's going to tell you that you're pretty much on the right track with working with a VA loan specialist. The third mistake that I see veterans making is not getting pre-approved. You see, there's these two terms, pre-qualified and pre-approved. And many times they get intercrossed or intertwined and they get mistaken for the other. What you'll hear is someone say, oh, I'm pre-approved, but they sometimes are actually pre-qualified. Here's the difference. A pre-qualification is you submitting a loan application, whether that's doing it over the phone with the lender or you doing it online. And on that application, they're going to review everything that you put on there, pull your credit and say, all right, Mr. Smith, you are now pre-qualified for 500,000. Great, go find a house. A month later, you found a house now and you're under contract. They're going to ask you for all of these documents, tax returns, W-2s, pay stubs or LES, bank statements, and other things that could pertain to getting you pre-approved. But the point I'm making here is the danger that can happen is when they get those documents and review it with the application, sometimes there could be things that could have caused you to now have your loan be denied or your pre-approval be decreased for whatever reason. And by doing a pre-approval upfront, it avoids all of that potential time that you wasted by doing a pre-qualification and looking for a house and finding out that you can't close. You see, a pre-approval is looking at those documents I mentioned with your application before you go looking for a house, knowing exactly where you stand, getting an idea of what your potential monthly payment would look like, and knowing what your possible closing costs would be based on that different price point. Now, when you go spend the time with your real estate agent to drive around town and looking for homes that fits your family's needs, you know without a shadow of a doubt that this home can become your guys' future home because you've taken the added steps up front to find out exactly what you're pre-approved at. So make sure you get pre-approved, make sure you do not get pre-qualified, 
and have that confidence and really just have that in your back pocket to know that you're maximizing your time and your effort. Before I jump into my last couple of points, if you've gotten any value from this video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and also consider subscribing. This channel was created to help as many veterans and real estate professionals understand and know what are the possibilities with utilizing the VA home loan benefit. So if you could come on this journey with me as I try to add value to you and to the real estate community, I would greatly appreciate your support. My fourth mistake that I see veterans making with utilizing the VA home loan benefit is not communicating effectively with their lender. And what I mean by that is going through the home buying process, your lender is going to need to get documentation updated from you. Sometimes it's going to be the same document that you updated last month. For example, your pay stubs or your bank statements. Things like that that come out every single month are going to be things that an underwriter may need. What they're also going to need from you is getting those things in a clear and legible fashion, which means that you don't want to take pictures of them when they're sideways with five things on the coffee table. If you can just download them as PDFs and send them to them, that's going to just allow them to do their job way better and allow them to serve you far better. A little bit of a second point on this particular topic is making sure that you're sharing with them as much information as possible. What I mean by that is a lot of times I have people come to me and they think they can't really share too many things with me because I'm going to try to deny their loan. And that's just not true. If lenders were always out to deny you, they would make no money, which means that they wouldn't be able to stay in business. So know that your loan officer is kind of like an attorney client privilege. The more you share with them, the more they can help you, the more they can try to find resources and try to solve problems that could potentially come up by knowing what they are upfront. So communicate with your lender by getting them documents and make sure that you're sharing with them as much information as you can so they know how to best guide you. My fifth and final mistake that I see veterans making on the VA home loan benefit is self-diagnosing their situation. What I mean is I've had a veteran come to me who had been spending the last three months working on his credit. He's a disabled veteran, he's retired, living off of his VA disability and social security. And he had about $15,000 in the bank. He spent about 12,000 of that paying off all these things that he thought he was going to need to address before talking to me. Those things that he ended up paying off didn't actually help his score. His score had stayed the same. He was in the low 600 range, which was something we could have still work with. But what happened is he had now 12,000 less dollars in the bank that he could have had used towards his home buying journey. You see, he thought that he had to go do all of those things before he came and spoke to me. My friends, what I can tell you right now is before you do anything else by addressing your situation, whether it's your credit, whether it's your income, your debt, whatever it is, if you know that you wanna buy a house, whether it's in the next month or in the next three years, talk to a lender now because getting a pre-approval is not mean you're going to be buying a house today. It does not require you to buy a house. There is no obligation to do so. The pre-approval process is there so that you can also find out where you're at. And by knowing where you're at, it now allows you to know what you need to work on to get you to where you want to go. So if your goal is to buy a house in the next two to three years, know where you're at today. So now that you know you have the next two to three years to work on whatever could be possible speed bumps later down the road. You don't want to be coming up on that time where you're now emotionally ready and you never found out where you're at, and now you have something on your credit or something in your situation that's keeping you from being able to qualify. So there you guys have it. My five common mistakes I see veterans making around the VA home loan benefit. If you got value from this video, remember, like it, subscribe, and even share it with another veteran or another individual within the real estate community that you think could get value from this video. I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.